Stop what you're doing right now. If you hold AGIX, Ocean, or FET, you have to watch this video because some things have changed with the coin merger since my last video when I reported on it. There's been some misinformation out there and I'm here to try to help piece all of this information together to help you figure out how to handle the situation. First thing I want to talk about is what I have highlighted on Fetch.ai's website. And this is in relation to the ASI token merger. So you can see right here it says, will my existing tokens be automatically converted to the new token? They say, yes, tokens held on centralized exchanges, Coinbase is a centralized exchange, will be automatically converted to FET and later to ASI. That is what I read and I reported that basically, hey, if you have FET, you're good. It's going to be magically converted to ASI for you. Well, today, Coinbase Assets tweeted this. Coinbase will not facilitate the migration of Ocean Effect or FET to ASI on behalf of users. Trading support will continue for FET and Ocean until further notice. And then they talk about how once the migration is launched, users, users will be able to migrate their Ocean and FET to ASI using a self-custodial wallet such as Coinbase Wallet. So a lot of confusion here. Once I saw that notice by Coinbase, I just had to make a video to make sure that I didn't mislead anybody because I was just following Fetch's documentation like they have here. And then I even read stuff on Coinbase's site talking about it and they didn't say anything that I noticed until today about not supporting this. So I just wanted to alert you of that. I know myself, I have my fat on Coinbase. So I was assuming that I'll just leave it there. It'll get converted to ASI. Now I'm at the point where there's so much confusion and there's not great documentation on how to do the self custodial migration. I'm almost at the point where I'm just going to sell my FET, hope that I don't miss out on a huge ASI pump and then just convert to ASI from Tether or something. So that's kind of where my head is at right now. So as far as centralized exchanges goes though, up here I read, let me just search for Binance. So Binance does say specifically that for token holders with funds on centralized exchanges like Binance, <laughs> now they're calling out Binance specifically, no action is required. And if you go to Binance's post about it, they say they will be suspending deposits and withdrawals for those assets on July 1st, but they will support the merger for tokens to ASI and the exchange will handle all technical aspects to ensure a smooth transition for its users. So Coinbase, you're really dropping the ball here. Binance is, is helping us with this migration. Why you are not, I don't know, but I'm not really happy with them right now, to be totally honest. If you don't want to take my word for this and you want to read into it more yourself, I'll again post the link to their comprehensive guide on their website here. It talks about how you can migrate from Ocean to FET and it even mentions how you can use like MetaMask and Trust Wallet to do the self-custodial migration as well. If you do know any additional information on this that I didn't provide, please put it in the comments below so all of the amazing viewers out there can get that additional information. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.